Jeremy, I know that Lionfish does a lot of stuff around CMMC. How is CMMC changing or about to change the security world as we know it? So we are actually an LTP as well as a, as a um, compliance platform. So an LTP is a licensed training uh, provider for CMMC to help people become licensed practitioners, a CCP, and also a CCA, which is the auditor assessor. And um, we're actually in a class right now. It's um, we've got some great instructors that that come in and help uh, instruct. But the the point of CMMC is just for some of the listeners is the military was paying for all this research and all this work, and it was getting leaked out because many of the subs, many of the contractors, um, had never done what they said they were supposed to do, which was uh, protect their protect their infrastructure so the data would not be leaked out. So the government got it, got kind of upset about it. And they, you know, they're like, hey, we're tired of losing stuff. And of course, as a warfighter being downrange, you know, and your stuff's been compromised, that's probably not a good thing to be in, right? So so it's um it is changing the landscape by saying, hey, we're done playing. You know, you're gonna start if you're gonna work with us and take our money, you're gonna you're gonna build your defenses around your equipment, around your 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 stuff, so people can't steal our information, our IP, um, and 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 protect these warfighters. What's happening is many countries now are noticing that this is a great idea, right? Hey, we should be doing this too. So we got Canada and some other Japan and some other countries that are that are saying, hey, we're going to do this as well. Um, so you have that, but not only that, because they're making this push, they're 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 ferreting out all the not all, but as many as they can issues in how are we going to administer this? How are we going to how are we going to um, make sure that this is happening and all this? So um, they're ferreting all this out because I believe and what we're hearing is that many of the go other government agencies are going to start implementing this, uh, implementing a de even if it may not be that stringent, it will be some version or some form of it. So um, everybody is going to need some type of cyber resilience. Every all these all of our businesses never were set up to be defensive of, from a cyber attack from a from a from a cyber incident which is cyber resiliency right it doesn't matter so it doesn't matter if it's a hacker or a natural disaster if your business needs a computer and it goes down you're in trouble so a lot of compliance helps you work on doing cyber resiliencies and and how to stand back up when when things go bad, no matter what it is.